established the College of Europe as an elite academic institution where future European leaders will be educated, fully aware that the project of the United Europe depends on the people. I think it was a great uh, open ceremony. Of course, uh, having a uh, president of North Macedonia is a great opportunity for, to learn from uh, leaders that uh, actually they are also part of the European community, although they're not part of the EU. And I think it's important that he highlighted the fact that the EU should not forget about the countries in this, in this uh, sense, the Western Balkans. The European Union made a bold decision to expand to the countries of Central and Eastern Europe. At the same time, their integration drastically reduced the possibility of mutual blockades due to the bilateral disputes. Nowadays, it should be a good advice for the Union to replicate this approach to the Western Balkans as well. Natalin is, um, despite the flag behind me, not only about the European Union, but also about this wider Europe. And the uh, President uh, put emphasis that the EU cannot lose the moment regarding the integration of Western Balkans to, the, uh, to our society. I think, yeah, the need to sort of overcome walls or to break them down. And that was really the message of today, I think, this sense of, of openness and solidarity in Europe. Europe is a space of prosperity built upon mutual understanding, sincere respect and fruitful exchange with others, as it is in the differences with others that we discover ourselves and enrich our identity. I think the most important thing, the thing that touched me the most during the speeches today was about David Sassoli being the patron of this promotion. We had this quote about him that was, not be the elites, but be the leaders. I would like you to follow this advice, take your responsibilities, exercise your power, uh, if you have it, uh, uh, if you realize you have it, then you use it and uh, uh, feel always at the service of your community and the values and principles that guide our European Union. This year, the College of Europe in Natalin celebrates its 30 year anniversary. For three decades, our institution has been a place where young and bright people from the EU, its neighbors and the world come together to not only study and live Europe, but open themselves to other cultures and perspectives. We need to become the leaders of today and also of tomorrow. The world needs this. Europe needs this. Dear students, fulfill Sassoli's dream. Create strong bridges. Open doors wide and spread the light because you have a lot to offer and a lot to receive.